me. I have a uh, broth that I heated up in a pan because I'm going to use this to make a sauce that goes over my Rihanna. My kids actually don't really eat it, but I love it. I know the people that I've made it for like it too. I use broth or chicken broth, and today I don't have chicken broth, so I use beef. And that's one and a half cups of broth that I brought to a uh, boil. And to that, I'm going to add... Yeah, I'm going to add some fresh chopped tomato, onion, and fresh jalapeno, and a little bit of blender salsa. And that's because I usually cheat and buy um, salsa casera, which is just freshly chopped salsa in a can. But I didn't buy that, so I'm going to use this instead. And it's just going to make a, a little soupy concoction here. And I'm going to use maybe, you know three tablespoons of salsa just to give it a little tomato -y base. And stir it up and I'm going to let it simmer. And this is uh, the vegetable or salsa broth mixture. And you know, you can use any canned salsa that you have or a bottled salsa. I would say it's like a cup of salsa to um, one and a half cups of broth. And here I have a tablespoon of cornstarch mixed really well in cold water, which is about a half a cup. This is a two-thirds measuring cup, but it's about a half a cup of liquid in there. I'm going to slowly add that in because what it's going to do is thicken this a little so that you can put it over your chilies. And you can use bell peppers. You don't necessarily have to use jalapenos. Bell peppers and onions work great or just your jar of salsa. See that it's turning a, I don't want to say an opaque color. Once it boils over, it'll turn back into its original color and it'll be a little bit thicker. You see it's doing that now. I wanted mine a little bit thicker. It, it's getting there, but I wanted mine just a tiny bit thicker, so I went ahead and mixed another um, teaspoon maybe, two teaspoons of cornstarch and just a tiny bit of water this time. And I'm just going to slowly add a little bit at a time and that's helping it. It should be saucy, not too uh, runny. You want it nice and saucy to cover the top of your Rihanna. And there it goes where I need it now. And that's my sauce for my Rihanna.